up. We are. All right, so went to Harbor Freight, they didn't have what we needed. Went to the other Harbor Freight, they didn't have what we needed. We're looking, for, we needed a jack stand, uh, not a jack stand, a engine lift and an engine stand, basically because we needed to get this lovely engine, the VR6 that came out of an old Passat into my garage. And there's only two of us, and then we had to get a third person. Uh, Ludd and Lauren came over, and we basically, as you guys saw in this video that I'm about to show you, Stacked two two by fours on their side, put a piece of plywood on top, and slid the engine down and hoped for the best that it didn't break. And it actually worked pretty well. But as you can tell, we have the engine uh, transmission with um, what are they called? TDI uh, gearing, which is better, I guess, for turbo because um, we're going to have longer gears. We now have the T66 turbo. We've got a bunch of kits. We got a new rail. We've got more stuff over here and basically more piping for a turbo and another turbo that's junk but now we have it and a <laughs> passat interior carpet that we got to basically not fuck up my truck bed learned a lot in the last few days about what everything is and it's been really fun and really exciting to do but oh my god my garage is uh, used to be so clean and perfect it's just complete garbage um so what's next what's next is this i have this engine we need to do a compression check on it, but to be able to do a compression check on it, we have to put this onto it, and I need to take the starter out of the Jetta to make sure, and we have to like put some little oil in the um, into the engine to make sure that this has compression, and if it's better than that engine. We have no idea anything about this engine whatsoever. It could have 50,000 miles, could have 200,000 miles. We have no idea, but we know that the engine that's in the Jetta now has seen some, has seen some, you know, seen some uh some history right it's had its uh belts changed twice anywhere from 200 300 thousand miles we don't really know um but in all of this happening one of my friends reached out and she says that she's got a passat that's been sitting in her garage for like two years with the vr6 and they're willing to give it to me so we're gonna go do some tests on the vr6 over there and see if maybe that's potentially the best engine that we can grab if that's the case I might be pulling a Passat apart to get the engine and then selling it or stripping it. I don't even know what's happening. I don't know if I want another project car because I don't have much driveway space or garage space anymore. But boy, what is how, what a crazy few days. But I'm so excited that we have the engine, transmission, turbo, everything that goes with the turbo, all of this for $2,500. Not too shabby. $1,500 for the Jetta, $2,500 for the engine, turbo, trans, everything else. We're gonna get 400 horsepower out of this bitch real quick and I cannot wait, but. Joey back again with another video on Loretta and the build series as I just bump into the Ducati. Holy shit. Dump it over. Just dump it over. Today, Loretta. Okay, so first we have a few things to do today. Number one, we need to clean up the garage and look through all the parts that we have and make sure we have everything. Number two, we're, we have to flip Loretta around, back her into the garage, and we're gonna start taking the engine out. And I have no idea what that involves. But everyone says it's pretty easy, only a few bolts, and should be done in the next few days or so, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be out. It will be out. Do we know what engine we're going to put into it? One that you don't have yet. Okay. Yeah, either that garbage one or the Passat one. So there's three potential engines, one from the Passat my friend's giving me, one from a barn that we have no idea how many miles are on it or if it even works, or the engine that's already in Loretta that's a complete piece of shit. But I think she's fast. She's very lovely to me. So let's start cleaning up the garage and first we have to build a shelf to put all the parts on it. 
Then let's start wrenching away on Loretta. When all this is done, I'm going to make a like a VHS compilation for us all. I want laser disc. Laser disc. All right, so the garage is officially clean, and Loretta's about to get her last ride in before the engine comes out. I'm just sad. Because we're gutting her. Yeah, but... Watch the things that actually matter. You guys are already safe inside the car. <laughs> well, safe is safe. My safe heart. is a yeah. Safe is questionable. It's a bold word. Yeah, garage. You got cute. It's pretty good now. Not gonna lie. what half a mile and we haven't overheated or died yet yeah well don't say it's not that. even close to operating temp yet <laughs> well the there's got to be cooling way. at the sensor for it to Julie? register <laughs> yes. oh, that's what a nice car looks like oh there's there's got to be cooling at the sensor for it to register hot that's true did you say it's true <laughs> Because <laughs> that's why. I got aggressive. <laughs> that's, what happened to the, that's what happened to the parents. So that's why they decided to, decide oh, to put the child there. This guy was in front of Dairy Max yesterday. Hell yeah. He was okay. a dick. There was a bunch of like grown men like refusing to wear masks. It was really interesting. Like 60 year old kids were like, we can't serve you. I'm sorry, mister. And they were making a big fucking stink about it. What have you done? Is it at 180? No, it's not even at nah, 240. It did get to 230 last night and I got real scared. <laughs> Why yeah. does it matter at this point? It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> 
but it needs me. Right now I can't really go like more than 65. Yeah, you can. Fourth will get you over 65. That's it. Everything's coming off anyway, so like, what is that noise? I, just, think, like, I think it's suspension stuff loose in the back. <laughs> Joey thinks it's tools, and I was like, tools don't get that loud. They're big tools. No, you probably have solid bushings now. Wonder what that is. It might just be worn out bushings. Yeah. We're up to operating mm -hmm. 10. There we go. Over. The, the One lap wonder, baby. The <laughs> countdown is on. That's all he really needs, though. One lap around the floor is all you do. It's all, it's all it needs. Ice cream in the back. Oh my god, it's Connor. In the, uh, in the Grand Cherokee up there. In the black one? Yeah. Go pull up to him. <laughs> on the left? All right, so the last time I put gas in it was when we went around the lake, but I haven't have driven it more than 20 miles since. What's all this fun liquid? I actually killed Loretta. Is she done? <laughs> smells funny. I think it's flooded now. Right actually. What if I pull the fuel pump? Crank it and then... And then crank it. It smells really weird. That's coolant. Is it? That's burning coolant, I bet. No. Uh, yes, I do. Underneath my... Yeah. Should I get two? Should I get a few? She'll start with one. That's because the fuel pump is unplugged. Because it's flooded. So now it'll start. You gonna cut your hair or no? No. Yeah. Okay. Throwing it out. You oh. sending it? Alright, let's do it. Stay back. <laughs> Piss rack, but that's fine. You can probably bring her back a bit. Yeah. This is fine. Yeah. 
Brian's going to come forward and you pick it up. Or should we shove it? Yeah, let's shove it. Yeah, let's shove it. Yeah, let's shove it. You think it's further in the corner? Like shove the ass in the corner more like Ian was saying. On Wednesday? Whoa! <laughs> 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 Don't go near that. Yeah, can we have, can I have the stick? Yeah, it's inside the carpet. Let me grab the GoPro. Inside. Um. So we fast forwarded about four or five weeks since then. Basically I'm editing this video and I, how am I cutting it up? I don't really have an end to this video, but before we start jumping into actually taking Loretta apart, I decided this is where this video should end. So then the next video is everything about us moving forward and taking the engine out of Loretta. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's been a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of fun stuff, but thank you so much for watching. I go out there and ride or drive or do whatever, just be safe. What is that? Oh, it's a plant. I thought it was part of my hair. All right, guys. Bye.